Absolutely. We're now live from uh, Evesham, and let's go over to somewhere in the United States. You can't hear us, Bill, but my good friend uh, John Minion in Evesham, uh, okay. which is close to Birmingham, has just said uh, we're going live now wow. from somewhere in the United States. Thank okay. you, John. <laughs> <laughs> this is Seven Spot Jim broadcasting to you live from the all British field meet in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> and I am here with my good buddy, Steve Dunbar. Say hi, Steve. Good day, Jim and uh, John. Good to meet you and uh, and looks like we have a nice dry show today. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? We're going to get started because I'm on the front camera, but I'm going to flip this around because people don't have not come here to look at me. They've come to look at seven. And as Billy Richards is trying to get out of the camera <laughs> i am going to pass this over to you bill okay you put that on your head <laughs> okay bill we've been here for you before you can see over there okay. and actually yes. all british field me so i was wondering bill, if you could just tell us this has got a, a very interesting story how did you come by getting a seven and why did you come by getting sevens? Well, I fell in love with sevens when I was about 16 years old, we'll say. I worked as a corner marshal at the uh, at the racetrack and was super impressed watching seven race cars. Always wanted one. My lovely and beautiful wife, Wendy, knew that I had always wanted one and for a significant birthday, she surprised me. <laughs> and this is what we landed up with. Um, it came out of, uh, out of Boston, the Boston area. We, uh, we had it shipped uh, across the country, picked it up in uh, Seattle from the shipping company, and drove it home. And we've been having adventures ever since. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Yeah, yeah it's, we've had so much fun. We, um, we bought it to drive and we drive it as much as we can. Yeah. Um, the story behind Marblehead or Marble Arch in Boston is uh, where their car came from. I originally wanted to get, try and pick up one there, but unfortunately at the time, I could absolutely not fit in the current models <laughs> at all. So I gave it a miss and uh, well, I've taken a slightly different route now and uh, have decided to build my own chassis and everything building up from a McSorley kit. But yes, yours, it's the, yours is the story we're talking about now, uh, Bill. So tell us about your car a little bit more and what motor do you have in it and uh, what fun you've had in it. Oh, what fun we've had in it. Um, so it's a 80, seven caterham uh, with the 1600 cross flow Cortina cross flow that has been we'll say hot rodded a little bit so um, T9 five speed in it and the Didion rear sp suspension uh -huh. we have done uh, we were forced to do a few upgrades um, it used to have the uh, drum brakes in the back. We've switched up to discs, but um, yeah, we were forced to do that after uh, an incident. I was say. about to say, normally <laughs> when somebody gets forced to do something, it's not because they decided to do it, it was because there was an incident. Tell us about that, mate. Uh, yeah, okay, so we were on an adventure drive one year ago. Um, <laughs> going up the highway, three lane section, passing a semi on the right and a semi coming down the hill on the left at speed. And I, in a normal car, you get that whoomph when the, uh, when the semi goes by. In a 1200 pound car, it's more than a whoomph. And um, 
spun it around 180 degrees and backed it into the Jersey barrier at about 60K. Oh, goodness, yeah. Yeah, so it has spent a year in the shop and um, it's all brand new from the right rear back. Yeah. And uh, whose brakes did you use uh, to convert it over to uh, discs? So we, the, uh, the fellow that we went to Caterham and bought the modern Didion. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the, the upgrade, I don't know if it's Yeah, so, so it's just standard upgrade from Patreon. It is. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. And you've got some interesting soft bits on, on the 7. Tell us about that. That's oh, a new addition. Yeah. So soft bits, they make soft accessories for 7s. Uh -huh. uh, fabulous company. So um, I had never been able to fit into the car. <laughs> with the top up. Well, I could fit in if I someone had sent me in. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we ordered this top and it has a zip out section on the driver's side. So I can zip that out. Oh, from the inside as well as the outside. We're getting a demo here, but Wendy's giving us the demo. <laughs> climb in and then zip myself in. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. And is it waterproof? It's as waterproof as any seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better than mine. Mine's got no roof at all. Yeah. But like I say, we've always driven it topless. Uh, that's the way it should be, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You may, may as well get the full experience. <laughs> that's right. You also mentioned that you uh, got caught in a snowstorm uh, driving your seven at one time. Yes. Uh, another one of our adventures. Um, we, uh, we were up. Uh, up at a stayed overnight in a ski resort uh, it had been a beautiful day the day before but when you're on top of a mountain the next morning six inches of snow we had to keep going <laughs> fired it up slid down the hill <laughs> i managed to keep it going in the right direction that time though <laughs> That must have been quite a challenge at that particular time because uh, I take it you weren't running snow tires or all weather tires, just regular summer tires? Just regular summer tires, oh, but uh, I was born and bred on the prairies, so yep. snow, <laughs> it's no well, big deal. And uh, having a look at your car, obviously you made it and uh, it's just great to see you here today, Bill. Thank you. <laughs> well, you're welcome and um, boy, sevens. Most fun you can have. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely.